This is the Gilmont British News, presenting the world to the world. Every peer of the realm attended the opening of the House of Lords trial of Lord de Clifford on a charge of manslaughter. And in the gallery were many peeresses, including Lady Oxford. Lord Hailsham, the Lord Chancellor, arrived to act as Lord High Steward. One of the chief witnesses who was travelling in the car which came into collision with Lord de Clifford was Miss Rosemary Reynolds. Another witness was Miss Sheila Hopkins, sister of the dead man. The four judges who were present in an advisory capacity unanimously advised their lordships that there was no case to answer following the speech of the prosecution. Each peer, on being asked by the Lord High Steward, placed his hand upon his breast and pronounced a verdict of not guilty. Lord de Clifford, was it by your wish that you were tried by the House of Lords? The question of my case, going to the House of Lords or not, was not one for me to decide, as it is the law of this country that a peer charged with a felony, of which manslaughter is an example, must be judged by his peers. No trial of a peer in the House of Lords has occurred since 1901, and it is thought that my case will be the last instance of this ancient law in operation in view of the expense involved and possible legislation in the future. Many people think, and I agree with them, that it is a great privilege to be tried by the House of Lords, but it has certain disadvantages. Firstly, it greatly lengthens the time between charge and trial, and secondly, it is most awe-inspiring.